What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today we're gonna to be comparing the Red Dragon K599 versus the Royal Kledge RK71. We're gonna throw these things on the table and go over the pros and the cons of each and then figure out which one you guys should get. And if at any point during the video, if you wanna check out either of these keyboards, there's gonna be Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. I do got you guys, but let's jump into the video. All right guys, comparing the Red Dragon K599 versus the Royal Kledge RK71. Now these are very similar keyboards. I will start by saying that this this does have custom PBT keycaps on there from Techware. I'll also have those linked below for Amazon. But besides that, both of these are just stock. Now right off the bat, let's go over the case design. This one absolutely has a thicker case just by a little bit, and it has a very different side design. So the Royal Clutch has the RGBs on the side, and this one is just kind of straight away. It's not boring, it's just minimal, while this one is definitely not minimal. Now moving to the back, again, this one's just a flat bottom. It has flip up risers, and it's basically just all flat. Besides that, this one is not at all like that. It has all of these little grooves in there and everything such as that. Now this one is a Bluetooth keyboard while this one uses a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. This one looks like one of the versions has the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. This one doesn't though. Now I will say this one has flip up risers. This one doesn't. It actually uses these magnetic risers that just snap on there like that. That's kind of cool but also at the same time you can lose them. So I'm gonna say that this one kind of wins for that. We're gonna review it without them on. Though. Now I will say this one has red switches and this one has brown switches. You can't see this one's a little bit bigger just because of the lip around the edge, although it's very minimal. Now I will say out of either of these, this one looks better just because it kind of has this right here that's open and it has that that's open. I prefer that rather than having this little line right there. Now that is personal preference, however, that is my preference. Now the front design is very different. This one's just a flat front while this one has a lip and then it kind of angles down and this one does have the Royal Clutch logo there. And this one has no logo actually at all. The only place that it has a logo is right on the bottom. So this one's very unbrandy, uh, which is kind of unusual for Red Dragon, but this one does have the Royal Clutch logo. But I will say a lot of you may or may not like these keycaps. They feel really good and they actually feel and look better than the stock keycaps on this one. And they do have this right here for Mac versus Windows. So you can have the little command there instead of the alt, which is nice. Now the RGB, this one, both of them are not great, but this one's definitely better. It has a white backlight to bounce more light up and it does seem just a little bit brighter, although it's very hard for you guys to see that. But let's get the sound test. This one has brown switches, this one has red ones. Now let's do the K599. Okay, now the switches on these feel much better than these. These are using Outemu red switches. These are using some sort of brown switch. It's very hard to find the exact switch for Royal Clutch keyboards, but this one, does feel good. They kind of feel like Gaterons. Royal Clutch has also had Kale make their switches, so I'm not really sure. Although I will say, I felt out 10 rounds before, these are not them. But again, with my other comparison, the stabilizers, they're just not like Red Dragon stabilizers that they've been putting on some of their new keyboards. These don't feel as good as these. I know that these are lube. Let's get both of these off and see if the Royal Clutch is lubed. Okay, now the Royal Clutch is lubed, however, it's not quite as generously lubed as this one, and it feels like they could have been more on. And also the stabilizers just don't feel the best. They could be a lot better, and I wish the Royal Clutch did a little bit better stabilizers. That being said, they're not terrible. They're just not as good as Red Dragon's new stabilizers that have just been really good lately. However, out of both of these, this one does feel more solid to type on. This one definitely has more sound dampening than this one. Now, as well as that, you can have up to five different devices on this keyboard connected via Bluetooth, while this one just plugs in via USB dongle. So out of both of them, which one should you guys get? Well, this one's definitely cheaper. This one's more expensive, but it has the Bluetoothness. So if you need connectivity through a lot of different devices, this one's the one to get. However, this one doesn't need to be messed around with in the Bluetooth settings. You can just plug it in and it works right away. However, the RGB is not quite as bright as this one, but the stabilizers are better on this one. However, the switches on the Royal Clutch feel much better. So of both of them, which one should you guys buy? Well, it depends. 
Well, if you guys don't have much money, get this one. I think it's one of the best keyboards that Red Dragon has ever made. But if you have a little bit more money and you want that a little more premium switch feel, get this one and add a little bit more lube to these stabilizers because they definitely need it. However, that being said, both of these are fantastic keyboards. And this one recently came out is unbelievable for the price. Also, this one has side RGB. So if you guys like that, this is the one to get. But guys, again, if you want to check out either of these or the keycaps on this, I'll have both of them linked below for Amazon, for the US, UK, and Canada. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to see a full review, I have full reviews for both of these keyboards in this video on my channel. So go subscribe to Consumer Tech Review below. But if this video did help you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy other keyboard reviews or keyboard comparisons, I do a ton of those. So please consider subscribing again. But this was Consumer Tech Review and I'll see you guys later.